Hello, my name is David Nyester. I'm one of the historical interpreters here at the Old Barracks Museum. Now today's question is about New Jersey's role during the revolution. That's a little bit broad of a question to get it fully here in the space of the video, but we can touch on one major aspect of, of New Jersey's role, and that is New Jersey's physical place during the revolution, its geography. Now we have to remember that Philadelphia was the capital of the United States. There's a lot of continental army activity in and around Philadelphia because that was the seat of the government for most of the war. That was the seat of some of the most radical and revolutionary aspects of the revolution. So there's always going to be lots of activity in and around Philadelphia. New York City, on the, on the other hand, was the headquarters of the British Army. The British Army captured it in 1776 and they didn't leave until the end of the war. And so anytime either side wanted food or forage or firewood, they came to New Jersey to get it. If they just wanted to seek the other in battle, they came to New Jersey to do it. So there's a whole series of conflicts and major actions through New Jersey. During the 1776 campaign, when the British Army took New York, the Continental Army fled through New Jersey mostly. Uh, shortly at, towards the end of the 1776 campaign, with the battles of Trenton and Princeton, some of the most essential battles of the conflict, battles that helped save the Continental Army from completely falling to pieces, happened right here in New Jersey. Now, after Philadelphia was captured in 1777, New Jersey was still a major spot. The British hadn't captured New Jersey, and so it functioned in many ways like a depot for the Continental Army. It sought food, it sought forage, it sought uniforms and ammunition. And New Jersey, and Trenton especially, served in that purpose. Now, Throughout the conflict as well, there's lots of smaller action. Besides big ones like the Battle of Monmouth in 1778, when the British left Philadelphia were chased by the Continentals, there was a lot of conflict in and around the northern part of New Jersey, especially around New York City, between British soldiers squaring off against New Jersey militia and New Jersey Continentals. Now down in South Jersey, there's lots of conflict as well. In Salem County, there's a number of really important battles fought between New Jersey militia and British forces, especially a lot of loyalists, many of whom were from New Jersey. Throughout the Pine Barrens, there's lots of conflict between what both sides described as bandits. Along the coast, you've got conflict in what many have described as the whaleboat wars, with, with both forces fighting in whaleboats. There's lots of conflict throughout New Jersey, and all of it a natural result of New Jersey's physical place. Stuck between Philadelphia and New York, it was what many historians have described as the crossroads of the American Revolution. And it's a major story that we like to tell here at the Old Barracks. Now, thank you for asking that question, for helping us bring history to life together.